What caused me to get into the real estate business? Well, I, I actually, my background actually started with, uh, I was a paramedic for about 15 years. I was working the lines, you know, out in the bloody heat every single day, dealing with people at their very, very worst, and uh, putting in 120 hours a week working that job, doing 24 hour shifts, 48 hour shifts. I mean, it just, it was absolutely ridiculous. Um, several years ago, I, I had my first child that was born. She ended up with uh, some significant health issues. And I realized that if I didn't do anything to change my life, I mean, I never knew how long my daughter or my, my son were, were gonna be able to be with us. I didn't know how far along these heart issues were gonna, or the, her health problems were gonna end up taking that effect. So I, I realized that I needed to do something with my life. Our society, America, has been built on and is dependent on real estate. The most wealth that you will ever see in your life will be coming from real estate. I figured, you know, what better way than to be able to take care of my family and dabble in the real estate myself. It, it actually it was something that's, that's been for quite some time now. Um, I, I've had several friends that have made the transition from paramedic or from some other venue over to real estate. Uh, of course, telling me right along the way how well they were doing, especially 2005, 2006, when the market was just booming. Uh, you know, nowadays they're still into it, but I mean, it's just very difficult now. Um, but at the same time, I mean, they're, they're happy. They're home every night with their family. They're spending as much time with their family, and that's exactly what I want for my family as well. Uh, I started the class in October of 2010. I ended up going to every single class that uh, ADHI ended up putting on. Um, my main hub I started in was Victorville. Um, from Victorville, I drive down to Upland, went out to Roland Heights, to Pasadena. Uh, just tried to get it done as quickly as I could. Uh, I was able to take care of all three of my requirements within I believe it was 90 days. It, it, as, as quickly as I was able to turn one class around, I went for the other one and went for the other one. Um, it's currently February 2011 now, and it's taken me all this time just pretty much based on the state of California. What was important to me, picking a broker. Um, I, I'll tell you, you know, being in, being in real estate and, and having a uh, a steady foundation is extremely important. Um, I know working with Century 21 Beachside, I know they've been around for quite some time. Um, I ended up doing a lot of my classes over there and I was very familiar with the area. So um, I ended up going in, speaking with Lori. Um, I'll tell you probably the most important thing for you, because um, you guys will all need to learn how to negotiate, is to be able to negotiate with your manager, negotiate with your boss. Uh, realize that from the, from the start, they're going to see what your reaction is. Just be able to go in there, put your best front foot forward, and negotiate with the best of them. The first negotiation, negotiation is going to be the most important for you. I, I'm going to be looking into uh, selling million dollar properties. I, I do want to be focused on you know, fifteen, twenty, twenty five thousand dollars $25,000 per month um, in income. And you know, pretty much I, I'd like to be I'd like to be pushing you know, 10 million in gross sales a year. Uh, geographical areas I'm gonna be focusing in. Um, the great thing with Century 21 Beachside in the Upland office, um, you're pretty much right near all the counties in the Southern California area. Uh, from, you know, we're, we're based out of the San Bernardino area, um, but we're minutes away from the Los Angeles County line to Orange County. Um, I'm not picky. I'll go wherever somebody says, hey, I want to buy a property or hey, I want to sell a property. So um, my focus is going to be the Southern California market. I ended up taking my test uh, February 22nd at 1 o'clock. It was the afternoon exam. Um, I was able to get there. It was a, a three women that were hosting the exam inside there. Uh, very, very dry sense of humor. Uh, but at the same time, it's uh, I was able to go in there um, due to the help of Kartik and no, he's not paying me for this. Uh, I was able to take the exam one time and pass with flying colors. Advice, um, never take no for an answer. Realize that it's you versus everybody else out there. So just do your best, give it your all. Um, this is your business, people.
take it, take it for what it's worth and just give it your all.